Well, today we're going to paint the brake calipers on Brendan's 350Z. Uh, we're at my house, and just because I've got the garage available and stuff, and um, we'll just give you a quick run through on what. How did you. A little bit? How far? Uh, it's going to be a total of about like two inches. Oh. Well, we had to drive Brendan's car up on blocks because it's low, because race car, and uh, we're just going to jack it up now so we can get the wheels off. Actually, we'll break the lug nuts loose first since you can't really do that while it's in the air. But right, Well, that's the factory jack point for the center. We're just going to jack it up by this and then put jack stands on the sides for convenience. Just wanted to do a little PSA and say that always use jack stands because I know everyone's got their fancy three ton floor jack that can hold the whole world up but you never know if one of those hydraulic cylinders is going to fail and you do not want your 3,000 pound car coming down on your head so always use jack stands. One more thing guys, always make sure and chalk your wheels, it's important. Don't forget. Before you get to anything else, make sure and clean off your calipers real well because there's going to be brake dust and crap all over them. So I've just got a wire brush and some brake cleaner and just kind of go at it. Make sure any big chunks of stuff are off. It doesn't have to be surgical clean, but get a little nicer. I'll run this one charcoal drill. Yeah, spray that. Scrape it. Guys, spray hamburger. Spray <laughs> charcoal drill. Oh, yeah. Finishing off the car to get ready for paint, and um, handy trick, trash bags work really good. You can just cut a hole in them and kind of stretch them around your caliper that way you don't get overspray all over everything. The rest we're just going to probably mask off with paper but the bag just works well for getting in all these tight little spaces. Alright, so keys to spray painting. You want to lay on really light coats at first and then you're going to want to put on a medium wet coat so that it all bonds together and depending on how that goes, maybe another coat. So, we're going to start off with a couple of lightness coats. See if it sprays. Wow, stiff. <laughs> Definitely makes it easier to paint these off the car, but we didn't really feel like figuring out how these particular set of brakes comes off, so there was enough space to just paint them on. So this is a medium uh, layer, right? Medium wet coat, yep. And we'll pretty much just let that dry while we mask up the other side. And once we've painted that, we'll see if it needs another coat. But it looks pretty good for now. Woo! Oh, it's on the trash bag.
perfectly fine. The only thing is we're not going to, you know, paint the back, which nobody sees the back side, so we are not concerned about that at all. What about your mad drift angle, bruh? People will see the backs of your brakes. Oh, man. Shake your paint. I think I'm doing that for like 10 minutes. Tip sweat, Tom. <laughs> 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 Look at it right there. <laughs>